Welcome to Achievement Hunting in Gears of War 3. Today, I'll be going for the achievement to beat the game's campaign on the highest possible difficulty. But just like with the previous two games, I've also decided to throw in the handicap of doing this entire thing solo. Because I'm independent. And also very lonely. A majority of people seem to think that 3's campaign is the hardest in the trilogy, and with some absolutely agonizing sections along with what might be the most difficult boss in the series, it's no wonder why. So with that being said, allow me to take you through the journey of what it's like to get one of the hardest achievements in Gears 3. But first, let me take you through the journey of what it's like to play War Thunder, the sponsor of today's video. God, I'm good at transitions! War Thunder is a free-to-play game on Xbox, PC, or PlayStation all about vehicular combat so good that it makes you feel like the vehicle you're playing as. War Thunder lets you play as land, air, and naval vehicles from around the world, and they're all incredibly customizable, allowing you to blend in or stand out as you see fit. War Thunder has also recently released the La Royale update, introducing to the game a whole French fleet led by the battleship Paris, the legendary BTR-80, and the SU-39. Something else cool from the update is that visual effects have been heavily enhanced to create the most realistic looking battles possible. Aircraft will be riddled with bullets, ships will be torn apart, and various pieces can be blown off of tanks, which is all very satisfying to pull off in the many different locations the game has to offer. So if all of that sounds like a good time, then you can download War Thunder for free using the link in the description. All new players and those who haven't entered War Thunder for 6 months or more will receive 100,000 silver lines a week of renting legendary German ground vehicles, and all the other bonuses shown here on screen. So make sure to check out the description because all these gifts won't last forever. Thank you again to War Thunder for sponsoring this video, and now back to me failing at Gears of War. The game opens up with us on a ship carrying the last remnants of the cog, and here we're introduced to all the characters we know and love, like Marcus, Anya, Dom, and... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> the reason we're on the ship in the first place is that most of the world has been taken over by the Lambent, a sort of parasite that have the ability to take over living things and explode, which as you can probably already assume, doesn't really bode well for the people on this ship, including me. What the? What? Wait, what did I? No, no. Oh, okay, that's not good. <laughs> I feel as though these things aren't supposed to be on the ship. I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't see that tip and it should be fine. Or it's gonna make me melee again, which is gonna be really annoying. <laughs> okay, well, this is going really well, I have to say. Now, dying to the second enemy in the game is obviously not optimal, but that's okay, because once I got my revenge and Spartan kicks this guy down a hole, two things happened. One was that we receive a CD from our exiled ex-chancellor that could have the key to stopping the lambent threat. And the second thing was that my chat told me to fight a chicken. <laughs> It seems kind of unnecessary. You know, I'm not exactly like the hunter type. I'd much rather just go to like the store to get my fresh meat, but who am I to say? Ooh! Are you kidding me? That's a big, that's a big chicken! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Objective failed. Oh, really? <laughs> Surprisingly, this thing can actually be killed, but it seems like I was the real chicken on this boat because I was scared of fighting it again. Don't worry though, I promise round two will be coming later in this video. In the meantime, however, we find out that instead of a sick mixtape, the chairman CD contained a message from Marcus's now milk in hand dad. He informs us that he may have the answer to all our problems, but instead of selling us a really scammy course, he tells us to seek him out and help him with his project. Still could be a cult thing, but we go along with it anyway. Despite the good news, we still had to fight off all the Lambents invading the ship. What didn't help with that was having a Twitch channel point redemption that forces you to bum rush enemies with usually less than favorable results. But what did help was a boost of confidence from finding the greatest weapon in the entire game. There's a fire! Grab the extinguisher! Wait, you can use a fire extinguisher in this game? Oh, hell yeah. It's gonna keep me up at night if I don't Press use the fire extinguisher on this landing. Oh, it's getting them, chat! <laughs> oh no, it's getting me! Oh, I got him! <laughs> this is the greatest weapon of all time. <laughs> oh, he's, he's almost down, chat. Give me a sec. <laughs> it's doing its best, okay? No, no one talk shit. This is just like playing as ice climbers in Smash. <laughs> you just like stun lock him until he's like super low HP and then you finish him off just like this. 
<laughs> Off the stage he goes, Jet. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to keep my extinguisher forever, which sucks because this was around the point I encountered the game's first boss. Once I found out it was a giant fish, I got flashbacks to the other giant fish I had to fight in the second game. Thankfully, this time, I'd have a bit of extra help. Let's use the two silverbacks in the maintenance bed. So, ooh, gorilla? Are we going monkey Marcus, mode? Run! Hold on. I'm in. All right. Let's see him. I'm about to pound my chest and pound that ass. Where is he at? Go for the ice. I'm trying. <laughs> Are we good? Just lodge the Leviathan. Oh shit. Okay, that wasn't too bad actually. Okay, no, this is bad. This is bad again. Don't like. Don't like this. Not good. Not good. Not good. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, the Leviathan, not exactly the immediate threat, it would appear. Keep firing! I know! <laughs> I'm sorry! Just launched the Leviathan a second time. You'd think he wouldn't come back after the first time. Let's uh let's actually shoot him in the mouth, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry, did that hurt? Okay, nice. Sick. Alright, now I just stay back here. Yeah, they're just coming from like every single side of the ship. Just launch the Leviathan again. <laughs> At least the objectives are pretty simple for me to understand. I appreciate that. Oh! There we go. Alright. Enemy just lodged again. <laughs> oh, cutscene? Oh, wait, why do we have. <laughs> Where did we get those from? <laughs> Good question, Snam, and that's why right after this, the game switches us to the perspective of Cole's squad an hour earlier. Even though it took like two and a half hours to beat this next part, but hey, who's counting? Here, we're introduced to the rest of the main characters. Cole, Baird, Sam. I'll give you a side of bacon for her, though. Oh, bacon. <laughs> and Carmine. And along with the rest of the cast, we're also thrust into the part of the game where it starts getting pretty difficult. That's a pretty handy ability, Chad, I do have to say. Oh my god, wait, why am I- why am I almost dead? There's AoE? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 I'll be over there in a minute, guys, give me a sec. Nice, okay. Oh, what? He's not dead? You can only... Oh, you can shoot off his arms into bit... Holy, that insta-killed me. Honestly, was not expecting that. <laughs> that is one flexible dude. Now we know for a fact, chat, that auto fellatio for Cole, very much on the table. So if you see any sort of rule 34 about that, that's canon. Now we have definitive proof about it. Dude, what? Yeah, I mean, the auto fellatio joke was a little bit much, but I feel like you could have at least given me a little bit of hope before you just dashed it again. There are two things from this area that became mainstays throughout the campaign, and are the reason for a lot of my future deaths. Firstly, there's these stalks that keep spawning enemies until you give their sacks a vasectomy, and secondly, there's the mutating lambent. They're basically like the Ganados from Resident Evil 4, except now their attacks can one-shot you, and you also have to deal with three Ashleys. Oh, everyone's dead. <laughs> Team, I was just finished praising you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have to get them up too. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh no, I'm somehow alive. No, I'm. <laughs> Thanks AI, very cool. <laughs> To reiterate, this is what every encounter from now on would be like. So I basically took this chance to learn how to play against these new enemies properly. That'll work. That'll work. Hopefully those guys won't spawn anymore. <laughs> the stocks are still moving and have color. There are still active pods. Ooh, that's good advice. Thank you. I'm aware. Thanks. <laughs> it's not like they've been attacking us for the past half hour. <laughs> Okay. Air burst pug. Are we good? Well, maybe oh my I've god. Been too <laughs> that was miserable. Kind of... but, you know, that we this was a very stressful situation. It's really just time to like kick back and have some fun. You know, take breaks, chat. Take breaks, do things you love in between stress because it'll only work out in the long run. Wow! <sighs> Beautiful. 
After my well-deserved mental break, it was time to move on. Eventually, we arrive at a section with yet another silverback mech, and we need to use it to drop off a crate of food to an LZ. Initially, I was pretty excited about this, but sadly, this mech was less of a King Kong and more of a Harambe. Rest in peace, King. The deaths here were more me getting ahead of myself than anything else, but this part also revealed a pretty painful truth to me. I was going to run out of ammo a lot. This was never a problem in past games, but for whatever reason, I felt like I was constantly scrounging for whatever scraps I could get here. It was mildly bad until I got to the end of the food section, but it became a whole lot worse when I had to spend every bullet I had on these units. What is that thing? <laughs> I don't like how this is turning out. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's not great. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude, what do I do? <laughs> we have to get rid of this guy like immediately. Only problem is I am using literally all my ammunition on this thing and it's still not dead. <laughs> Which is not great. Dead? Let's go! Okay. Uh hopefully I don't. Okay, <laughs> don't be next to Big Scary Boy when he blow up. Uh, any ammunition for? Ooh, well, that's convenient. For any other? Yes, okay, there is. Dude, I gotta, I gotta scrounge the battlefield. I feel like a Russian soldier during World War II. Now I really feel like a Russian soldier during World War II. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, this will work. I'm out of ammo again, but this will work. Wait, how do I spot people? Was that told to me? It probably... Ooh, that's a thing! <laughs> I almost choked to a snake. I don't usually swing in that direction. Sheesh. Once these enemies were finally taken down, we're required to head over to the bridge so we can help Marcus with the lambent on the ship. To do so, we have to head through a friendly settlement and the stadium Cole used to play in. The second one of these places, however, was pretty well guarded. What? I, I, already? I'm alive. Oh, I'm dead. I'm alive. Are you gonna just keep spawning dickheads? That'd be kind of cringe, not gonna lie. All right, yep. <laughs> it seems as much. All right, I, uh, ooh, wait, idea? Idea, this is gonna be brilliant. No, that doesn't, it's like, oh, it does. It does, it's a cool, it's fucking cool. I'm so fucking smart. <laughs> Actual gamer brain moment. Holy, oh, I'm gonna live off this high for years to come, let me tell you. <laughs> Considering I rarely have moments where my brain, you know, works, this wasn't too far off. Inside the stadium, we fight some more enemies, but then have this really cool character moment with Cole. He finds all his old gear and rushes over to plant a bomb while remembering his old stardom from before the world went downhill. It's a beautiful sequence that works as a fantastic climax to his character arc, which then leads to the next part of his character arc where he dies countless times to this piece of shit. Uh, oh no. <laughs> oh god. This is not looking very good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, I'm not dead. That's actually interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> you have to shouldn't have talked. This is probably the hardest part in Act 1, specifically because you have about negative two seconds to find cover before you're blasted to smithereens. It also didn't help me mentally, knowing that if I died, I'd have to be subjugated to Carmine's shooting practice again. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Carmine. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> He almost has it, chat. It was very apparent that the developers did not play test this solo. So, as per usual, I was forced to be the test dummy until I could make this godforsaken section actually work. Okay, Dog, this is getting so hard. Break. I have to somehow boom shot this guy. Oh, <laughs> dude. Okay, so I need to, like, okay, use my first boom okay. shot. Okay. <laughs> All right, immaculate movement, immaculate movement, okay, immaculate movement. I, I literally don't know what to do. <laughs> I think that was as fast as I possibly could do it. And I still lost. Yeah, so he instantly does that. And then I instantly do this. And then I instantly die. Yes, I <laughs> what an angle. Okay, 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 hold on. Okay, hold on. 
This is the longest I've been alive for. Ah, hello to champ, bitch, but we got a ship to what save. the fuck? I know, dude, are you? <laughs> God damn it. So I need to get closer to the car first to avoid the first one. And then with the second Poggers. one, that's the wrong scene. Poggers. Thank you, Charles. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get closer to the car first. Then we make a break for the barrier. And then with the barrier, I have to kill all the small things first and then focus on the big thing. Okay, that's a okay, sick. Bridge. Okay. Okay. But we got a ship to save. Nice! Okay! That's the last of them. And a checkpoint! Okay, thank god. Uh, honestly, talking it out really you know helps. I, I, Somehow, I was able to get past everything. But if you're a fan of watching me suffer, don't worry. I can already think of at least four parts coming later that are ten times worse than this. Until we get there, though, we have some slightly less mind-numbing pain to get through first. I need, uh, I need to readjust. I haven't played this game for two days, Chet, which is a long time in Snam years. It basically means I've forgotten all the control- Chat, what happens? <laughs> Along with insta-kill snipers, this is the first time we run into the locust in this game, and honestly, they're way more preferable to fight than the lambent. Because I didn't have to worry about mutations and explosions anymore, everything became much easier at this point. Even the decisions. Catwalk, it's a walk with cats, how hard could it be? You know, I... That's, I think, the best endorsement I've ever heard. I mean, we might as well just do catwalk then. The unfortunate thing is that not every part in this chapter was a normal encounter, and things went right back to business as usual, starting right about here. Get down! Hey, hey. Great. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't even, like, look out to check because there's so many mortars. <laughs> Dude, I hear I, this is non-stop! <laughs> Chat, the noise has not stopped for like a solid minute now. <laughs> like, what, what, where's the timing? Please, God. <laughs> oh, are you taking out the mortar? Oh, bless you, teammates. There we go. I participated, and that's what matters. <laughs> After this section is over, we kick off the events from the start of the game and wash ashore as Marcus to begin Act 2. Now, I know I said I preferred fighting the Locust earlier, but that was because they couldn't explode me. And in this next section, that was no longer the case. Okay. They, I can't remember if they can control the direction or not. I'm kind of hoping <laughs> it's the not part. Okay, this is this is gonna be interesting. For the rest of this video, I'll be referring to these enemies as cavers because accidentally mispronouncing their real name might spell the end of my YouTube career. Anyway, the cavers in this section were rough and cover didn't seem to matter against their underground projectiles. That meant my initial strategy here was to bum rush this cave until I finally caught a lucky break. Okay, I don't think he has an angle on me here, right? D dog, <laughs> are you kidding me? Please stop saying dig. I don't know why they say boom and dig like Pokemon. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh no, hold on, wait, idea. Idea. Oh no, there's another stupid, stop! God damn it. Oh, there's a long shot? Hey yo. <laughs> all right, well that was fun to have for all of five seconds. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I gotta go now. I gotta go now, please. Oh, barely. Okay, good. Not good. Wow, that is some slow ass cover. <laughs> Ow, I get, I, I, I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice, I don't have a choice, I don't have a choice. <laughs> Who designed this? <laughs> I would like to have a word with your manager. No, no what do you wear? <laughs> Dig. Dig. I don't know if I'm gonna get like murdered here or not, to be honest with you. Oh god, dude, what do I do? Okay, hold on. We need to we need to rethink our strategy here cuz instantly running for the cave is absolutely not working. Whoa, so here nasty. here's what we're going to do now, chat. We're going to pick up the sniper, then we're going to like instantly retreat and hope for the best. <laughs> That's going to be the strategy here. <laughs> we'll do this, and then we should probably take out the snipers first. This will give me time to react to the big sights. Okay, so get rid of him, and then now we can just kind of snipe away at these guys, right? I hope. Okay, that's one. 
Wait, hold on. Did we take him out? Wait, did my team get him? Dude, I don't trust this game to be nice to me, so I have to be like 100% sure. Nope, he's still alive. He's still alive. Nope, 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 nope. I had a feeling. I knew it. The game is not that nice. Okay. Ah, uh, there's the checkpoint. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Hear that peace and quiet chat? Right, That's the sound of victory. God, it feels good. Oh, Thankfully, after good. all that, I had a bit of a break before the next difficult part. That is a lie. I actually had to do this right after. Oh! Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> The Brumach fight seems a bit unfair solo. Since it has missiles and a machine gun that blew you out of every piece of cover in the area, your best bet is to hide behind this shipping crate. But even this is not 100% effective. Oh, to be honest there, I don't exactly know how I was supposed to avoid that one. <laughs> you could always try and strategically plan out what to do through trial and error like I did with the cavers, but all that nerd shit was hard, so I just decided to get lucky instead. Can these things blow up faster? <laughs> I am sh I'm doing- wait, hold on, what? Is he good? You know, chat, I think we got him. Man, that was nasty. <laughs> he just okay, stood still at the on. end. I, I, I guess he felt bad for me. Honestly, I would feel bad for me too. Holy shit, I suck at this game. <laughs> now, for real this time, I had a bit of a break. Our objective after the Brumach was to commandeer a Locust Blimp we could ride towards some allies. On the way there, we run into a ton of Locust encounters, but the number of battles went from 1 to 5 to 10, and it seemed like there was no sign of me slowing down. And even when I did start dying again at the start of the sniper section, it was less due to difficulty and more so due to my own skill issues. Oh, yeah, okay, wait, now now is the time. Now is the time. Where's my one shot? 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 This is the time. This is the this is the, this is not the time. This is not the time. <laughs> Other than the occasional death, I'd been playing for over an hour without running into anything that had taken more than two attempts. Closer to the end of the act, however, we get some more tricky things that might be good to take note of. The first of these being the ticker factory. Okay, let's get rid of Oh, wait, you can just shoot him down. Oh, I love this part. I <laughs> like this is so sick. Sick. It's like my warehouse job. <laughs> yeah, exactly like your warehouse job. Hopefully you're okay. <laughs> I'm about to start collecting some workers comp. This part was frustrating because the layout left me prone to getting flanked, which happened quite a few times. Hanging far back helped out a lot here, but that wouldn't be a possibility for this next part. So uh, we're not gonna interrupt anything and we'll get to the other side of the room and be totally fine, right Chet? <laughs> The corpse or boss fight actually isn't too hard, all things considered. All you really have to do is shoot the big corpser in the eyes and shoot all its minions when it's stunned. What really sucks about it though is that the fight is pretty long, and if you die, it's heartbreaking to start all the way back at the beginning, especially if it's because you didn't know what to do. Is that it? Oh, shit. Now she's oh, that's not it! That's not it! That's not it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this! I don't like this! Oh, <laughs> okay. oh. What did I do? <laughs> you were crushed by the collapsing ceiling. Run to <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> but the real kick in the ass was when the game combined both of these aspects at once. The blimp docking area not only didn't have the kind of docking I came there to see, but it also has basically nothing for cover, constantly drops in enemies with power weapons, and has you avoid insta-kill mortars from the blimp for five whole minutes. I may not have died there as many times as I did to the cavers, but the mental tax of having to restart so much progress each death puts this as the hardest part of chapter two for me. All right. All right. So there should be two guards coming down here, right? All right, maybe if I stay like here, I, oh God, I need to keep eyes on that thing the entire time. Uh, hold on, I have grenades though. Hold the line. That was kind of a shitty grenade. Uh, it wasn't as bad as I, where did that come from? Staying back here. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh my god, dude! That's too scary! <laughs> How long do I- Oh, they're torquing now. God damn it. Why am I not surprised? 
Okay, surely it will, the part will be done pretty soon, right? The boom shots, bro. <laughs> Are you joking? Oh, we're fucking dead. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Oh, and we're back there. Yeah, now it's the torque bus. Sick, 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 good. Oh, get him, Baird. <laughs> yeah, Baird. Wait, you didn't kill him, Baird. Bears, do better. <laughs> Are we done yet? <laughs> Please? How much longer is this part? Oh, it's coming down? Wait, but does that mean we'll have... <laughs> this, is, this is great. <laughs> I love this game. Yup. Uh, almost. Is that the last one? Yeah, it might be. Oh my god, what a miserable part that was. Don't worry, if you like watching me suffer, I can think of at least three parts coming up that are even worse than this. In the meantime, however, this next part is when I was first introduced to one of the more annoying enemies in the game, the Reavers. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling. Okay. Now he shouldn't be able to missile me. I should be safe in this area. Oh, especially if I can do this and cheese him to death. Very down. Oh, we, this is a learning experience, right? <laughs> wait, what's our objective here? Defend the depot. Okay, wait, so I can go up there. That might be a good idea. Uh, can I cross? Oh, wait, a lot there. That's exactly what I brought this along for. Did that work? I don't know if that hit or not. Okay, it definitely hit. That's good. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. You just, you just gotta find the god wow, spots. This is an honorable snam. Motherfucker, they shot me with one missile and I died three times in a row. They can suck my ass. <laughs> After this section was over, we have a short but hectic encounter with the Locust Queen and her moth that shoots lasers for whatever reason. This ended up being super manageable though, as was holding out against waves of locusts once we got to our destination. My only deaths here were due to incompetence or full sending it, but unfortunately for me, that was all about to change. I can't imagine that this is going to be an easy part. <laughs> Well, I was right, that's for sure. <laughs> the Lambent Berserker fight, as you may already be able to assume, was the hardest part of Act 3, and the devs seemed to implement a three-step plan to make this boss as miserable as possible. Step 1. Put a bunch of useless cover in the arena against a boss you can only avoid by dodging. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> spatial awareness, not one of my strong suits there. <laughs> Did not see the tires. Step two, cause the boss to leak fumes that trap you in completely inescapable situations. What? Ooh, that insta kills me? Okay, well that's unfortunate. Step three, watch as the player slowly loses their mind over the first two things since this boss fight is very long. What the? <laughs> Come on! God damn it! I'm trapped in this stupid corner of the map! <laughs> uh oh. Wait, if all three of them go down, I'm probably in a really bad spot. I'm also trying to make sure that the emulsion's gone. Uh oh, no! No, oh, I threw. <laughs> I thought I had time. Uh, note to self, cannot roll out of picking up ammo animation. Uh, jot that down, Chet. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. <laughs> Oh, I'm in a really bad, <laughs> yeah. I just have to draw like a square around this like central pillar. And that way there's no way I could get like trapped, ideally. <laughs> okay, spatial awareness, spatial awareness, spatial awareness, spatial awareness. Okay. Spatial awareness, spatial awareness, spatial awareness, spatial awareness. This, uh, this square strategy chat that I'm employing right now makes this a lot easier. Still have to, like, you know, do the thing where I don't die, but this is making the not dying thing a bit more manageable. Oh, thank God. We're good. We're good. Get out of here. 
Don't worry though, if you like watching me suffer, I can think of at least two parts coming later that are even worse than this. In the meantime, however, please enjoy this peaceful car ride where we encounter literally zero enemies. All right, chat. Well, we're on our way to uh, pain and misery. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> you know, I, I I really did try, but th this part, I mean, I, I I don't know how we're gonna get by this, to be honest. It was during the bet, so it's not like it counts towards it. We should be okay. Um, Jet, <laughs> uh, can anyone possibly tell me what I'm doing wrong, <laughs> perchance? <laughs> Ironically, I failed less when enemies actually did show up than when they didn't, and eventually we made our way to the fuel station where things aren't exactly going well. Oh, that went well. That sandwich is 10 years after all these challenge runs. <laughs> You know, I don't think you're too far off. <laughs> One could only imagine what sorts of horrors that man had seen to react like that. But it turned out to be even worse than any of us could have imagined, because the Lambents were now taking over humans. And they were honestly super fucking easy. I came into this section thinking I'd be constantly swarmed by never-ending waves of lambent humans, but it turns out if you just fall back and hold out somewhere safe, you can get through most of them no problem. I say most though, because once the locusts show up, everything suddenly becomes much harder. I don't like this. Behind cover! Okay, well, yeah, I liked it better when it was the stupid, flimsy, dumb human enemies instead of the very powerful and scary locust enemies. <laughs> throw witches? I had no control! <laughs> See, we're fine now. Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Ooh, what? No, that hit Dom and then it killed me! <laughs> oh, I'm dead. 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 I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. I'm stuck. God damn it. I wanted to pick him up as a meat shield, but I thought I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> God damn it. I was spamming A and it wasn't working. And then the Y popped up on the screen. I'm like, oh, OK, I'll just do that. Yeah, that was a good idea. Thanks, game. <laughs> OK, Dom's not here, too. This is perfect. Literal God spot now that Dom's not going to throw. Uh oh, this is a predicament. Anya, get your own spot! <laughs> Leave me alone! Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll get farther back, like back here, but then I have like no. All right, well, we'll try it. You know, when I play like an intelligent human being, this uh, this becomes a lot easier. And again, now that I said that, there's probably gonna be like a lot more. Ha, ah, okay. Yeah, I hear something rumbling. What the fuck? Wait, did I make it? Ooh, let's go! Unfortunately for everyone, this is the part of the game where the sadness just doesn't stop. As after this section is over, Dom chooses to sacrifice himself so everyone else can escape. Still probably one of the saddest deaths in gaming history, only being surpassed by Spider-Man's death in the Spider-Man 3 video game. Despite Dom's heroics, we're still in need of fuel and a vehicle that can take us to where Marcus's dad is located. So, in order to take care of both and kick off Act 4, we head into a dead city filled with lambents and some very clever traps. We better check that out, <laughs> but carefully. Surely not, right? Like, <laughs> there is obviously not a fucking baby in the dead city just randomly sitting here. <laughs> I don't know what else you expected! <laughs> On our way to the fuel refinery, I had a few more deaths, most of which came from this encounter in front of the building that was hard for absolutely no reason. Or it took me and my wife days to beat. Wait, really? Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to hear that. I thought I was doing well. Oh, oh I'm doing bad. <laughs> 
But after finishing that part, the next few chapters turned out to be a breeze, which led to me getting the fuel we needed with little trouble at all. This meant it was now time to acquire our vehicle, and for that we had to head over to a naval shipyard with an enemy type that could kick my ass with 50 times the efficiency. What the fuck is that thing? Hold on, I'm gonna let you guys handle it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, can I melee this? What, perchance? Oh. <laughs> Wait, you can! Wait, I'm trying to kick it. Oh, no, 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 no. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. What? It's just like a normal bug. Oh, no! I didn't realize it could turn 180 like that. Once we arrived at the dock, it appeared our vehicle of choice would be a submarine. Now, I know public perception of subs has never been lower at this point in history, and that Dizzy can't even read, let alone adhere to safety regulations, but we aren't exactly spoiled for choice here, so we go along with it. Before we can launch the sub, though, it needs to be fitted with two components found elsewhere in the facility. The first of these was pretty simple to grab and bring back, but the second one, eh, not so much. I still have to get rid of the Cantus, otherwise I literally can't progress. Uh, Anya? Anya! <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you know, it would be a lot easier for me had I not had to run and save my doofuses over there. <laughs> I had no idea how I was going to get by this with the weapons I had. Thankfully, a helpful soul in chat told me I could switch weapons with teammates in this game, and on my first try with the long shot, I cleaned this place up. It was because of this that I assumed the long shot would be the best weapon to get me through the rest of Act 4. But this is actually a disgusting, despicable trick that led me to passing up on some boom shots, and this would end up being my biggest regret in the entire playthrough. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, that makes Try sense. Explosives. I don't have any! Uh-oh. Uh, huh. I was thinking of using the bolt shots. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I actually don't know what to do here. <laughs> I really wanted to know what the hell the developers were thinking when they made this godforsaken section. Luckily, I actually got my hands on some never-before-seen notes about this part's design philosophy. Initially, you're put against two armored Cantus. The general idea is to shoot them with explosives so they get stunned and then shoot them in the mouth to actually do damage. The problem was that I didn't start with any explosives, so each attempt I had to make a break for the ones in the middle of the arena where a majority of the time the only thing exploding would be my brain matter. Oh, I just dead? Bro, what? Oh my god. If you're able to get past the first section, things only end up getting harder, because after this we get a another wave of armored cantus and find out that pest control didn't do as good a job as we might have hoped here wait oh, bro you're fucking joking <laughs> there's a p2 oh this is comically evil comically evil enemy placements uh okay centipede dying hog centipede centipede what they're behind me too fuck no! What do you mean? What is- Who's designed this? <laughs> and just for shits and giggles, the wave after this almost impossible wave is the exact same thing. Oh, and if you die, you restart the entire thing over. Good shit, Jason. Okay. Okay, here's just the Seraphine. They're throwing everything that got at us. No, they're not, bro. What the hell do you mean? I still have a Serapede. Oh, no. Uh, what? Nice. Okay, thank God. Uh, what's going on over here? Why, dude? A two? <laughs> That's the one was more than enough. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's the centipede. Okay. Yeah, this is fucked. <laughs> I think the Cantus is now here, too. No, oh, dude, I'm so close, fuck! <laughs> oh, that was actually looking so good too until the, the second centipede. Whose idea was this? <laughs> God gives his silliest battles to his funniest clowns. <laughs> Thanks, Dredden. You know exactly what to say to make me feel better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> dude, it's sick, catches up to me so fast. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know how to kill this thing. Help me, Chad. I can't shoot it because it's right behind me. 
All right, I think we all get the gist of it now. This part was obviously the hardest thing I'd faced in the game thus far, emphasized by the fact that it had killed me four times as much as any other part in the game. Over time, I did learn some things that made each subsequent attempt a bit easier though, or each sub subsequent attempt, since half of these were just me dying at the start. I learned that sticking the first armored cantus would insta-kill it and save me some necessary ammo. I could separate groups of enemies using my team and that the cantus will open their mouths to revive down locusts, opening them up for a free shot. Getting to the successful attempt wasn't pretty, but we did end up getting there eventually. Okay, don't know what it's doing, but that's okay. It's doing God's work, let me tell you. Yes! Okay. Oh, the dark. That took so much out of me, man. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna sit here for a second, Jack. Give me a moment. I'll be right with you. Don't worry though, if you like watching me suffer, I can think of, actually, this was pretty terrible. But there is something that matches it at least coming later on. In the meantime, however, I went on a surprisingly smooth submarine trip, arrived at the island Marcus's father is hiding out at, and accidentally blocked the way towards him. Wait, I don't like that last part. It could be that long. Damn it, the trains blocked the tunnel. Where the hell what are we the gonna fuck go happened? There's, I didn't do that. I refuse to take any responsibility. <laughs> Where do we go? There's a train that'll take you straight to the facility. Yeah, we've got a problem with that. The tunnel's blocked. <laughs> yeah, I, again, not my there fault, by the way. This tragedy that I'm completely innocent of, by the way, meant that we were gonna have to take the long way to our destination. But man, I was not prepared for how long and hard this would be. Uh, uh, phrasing. Oh, I Wait, no, 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 no. I, I, I gotta get out of the way of the mortars. <laughs> Boomer. Oh shit. Wait, I've never died in monkey mode before. This is gonna be like my Achilles heel, except my Achilles heel is getting shot a lot, which is pretty similar to most other people's Achilles heels, but we're not gonna talk about that. How does the monkey suit get tired? I mean, you know, there are only so many bananas that you can stick in the uh, the fuel pump, you know what I mean? Just make sure you don't stick your own banana in the fuel pump because that does not end very well. Trust me, uh, a friend of a friend did it. I, I wouldn't know personally, but he, 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 he really had a bad time. Uh, ooh, boom. Also, where am I going? I've just kind of been monkeying around in the monkey. No, oh, can the monkey suit climb ladders? How can the monkey suit not climb? It's a monkey suit. That's what they do. Oh, it's one of those flightless monkeys. Oh, <laughs> oh my mistake. Okay, this makes a lot more sense now. Oh, wait, hold on. We got a helicopter? Fuck yeah, I'm down. This is a lot more fun than being murdered. Okay. Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> and with all that behind us, we finally make it to the hotel district. Here, like everywhere else, I died. So let's focus on the places where I more died. There were three areas before the final boss that fell under this category. And the first was when I had to disable this anti-air catapult. Surely our helicopters are advanced enough to not get hit by these, right? Anyway, there were a ton of torque bow enemies and armored cantus here, but what really caused me the most grief was the blimp whose projectiles had more reach than Victor Wimbayama with Inspector Gadget Arms. Dude, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> I feel like that's just gonna hit me no matter what. Oh uh, god. Okay, I'm gonna have to like go down, aren't I? Maybe I can take out a cantus first though, before I have to worry about that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Very cool, thank you video game. Fighting the enemies from this overlook wasn't working, but I found out that if you go far enough to the left, you can get out of the blimp's line of sight while still having enough cover to protect yourself from the more powerful locust. Unfortunately, for the second area I wanna talk about, not being in the line of sight just wasn't possible. Oh, this resort does look very nice, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, there's more enemies, okay, I don't like it anymore. Is that a, oh uh, no. Mm. Yeah, she's been on our Oh, is that a mortar? Oh, I thought it was a one-shot. Okay, hold on. We have a chance. All 
All right, we have failed our chance. Very cool. Thank you, Gannon. <laughs> Along with having to avoid the mortar guide, there's also a holdout section right after this where they spawn in a bunch of powerful lambent while you have to hide behind like an inch of cover. Now, if it were two inches of cover, that, that, that'd be pretty satisfactory. This turned out to be the easiest of the three parts though, mainly because of two things. One was that I caught on to leaving this hellhole early and ended up taking out the lambent from this position instead. And the other was that I learned something very useful about the AI when this happened. Uh, I, yeah, it's Chucks. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him up. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Are they good? Wait, can they not die? Dude, I was under the impression they would die every... Oh, God damn it. Nice to find out so late in the campaign. <laughs> I know! Oh, that would have saved me so much pain and suffering in some spots. Oh, that's so annoying. But from the easiest part, we now go to the third and by far hardest part before we get to the Mira boss fight. Do a stealth Mark, mission again. We ain't sneaking past them, are we? We gotta score the turtle. I mean, I'm down to sneak past yeah. them. I know what you mean. Surprise, bitches! We back! If I die in the next five seconds, I'm yeeting coal off of a balcony. For this area, you need to fight a bunch of boomers and Theron guards on the lower level, a bunch of torque bow wielding guards riding blood mounts on the upper level, and the cherry on top of this shit Sunday is the reaver that spawns in when you've basically used up all your ammo. Oh, and if you die here, you have to do this entire eight minute sequence of events again. So that was fun. Oh no! I hate this game, dude. <laughs> Oh my, I'm so glad I decided to dodge that. Oh my god. Stop, please. Fuck. Okay. Not great, not great. Not... What do you mean? Bro, oh, this game is so dumb. <laughs> Please God, please God have mercy on my soul. Oh, why is it not dead yet? Please. Yes. Oh. This was literally, I think the most depressing part in the entire game for me so far. <laughs> this was such a, yeah, that took my entire cranium's worth of like mental fortitude to get through. <laughs> Once that was finally over, we make it to Marcus's father who needs us to protect his resonator so we can rid the world of the lambent and definitely the locust too. Don't look that up by the way. To do so, we have to fend off the locust queen Mira using the hammer of dawn while avoiding her scary moth lasers. Honestly, this was incredibly easy as you could just weave in and out from behind a pillar and get some good shots in. During this entire process, I was pretty confused why people were warning me about this since the playthrough started. That is, until we reached the final phase. And at that point, I understood really well. Except that your species will die. Except that your species will die. Shut up, nerd. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. God, no, 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 she wasn't there before. What me? What? <laughs> Why did it? <laughs> you all saw that, right? The stupid body was just barreling towards me and I had to move. Suck my dick. I hate this game. <laughs> This final phase of the fight was terrible. You have to shoot Mira off the resonator, but there are constant enemies spawning in, so you have to focus on dealing with them. But if you do that, this happens. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. But if you focus on Mira, you just get yourself killed by the enemies. And even if you don't get killed by the enemies, Mira will laser you after she's off the resonator because you can't take cover because of the stupid enemies. And it's just so stupid. <sighs> The thing is though, this was literally the only thing between me and my solo insanity trilogy run. So just like the moth mirror was riding on, all I had to do was go towards the light. God damn it. No, wait, sorry. I meant go towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Never mind. Let's just get all the deaths out of the way. Ooh. Wait, oh dude, I must have my uh, my ass is just protruding through these stupid corners and I cannot stop it. Good, it's off the tower. Now bring it down and hammer. Yep. Wait, hold on. I gotta not choke this. 
the farthest I've gotten. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, please. Oh, let's go. Under 200, we did it. <laughs> yes, oh my God, that was actually, yeah, this was as bad as people said it was. <laughs> but if you like watching me suffer, you should worry because with this done, the campaign was complete and the achievements was finally mine. Oh, wait a sec, aren't I forgetting something? Aye, there it is. Oh, too fast, 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 too fast. Oh, fuck. <laughs> now it's just not moving. <laughs> Dad, I don't know what to tell you. It literally gave up after I, okay, go hug him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe this is something we can talk out. Let's put aside our differences, you know? Say, so, hey man, I, I'm really sorry about everything that kind of happens up until this point. Uh, I didn't mean to eat your friends. You know, the food around here is really scarce ever since the Lambent took over, you know? And it's just kind of like, you know, uh, I, I, I now understand that your people, you've, you've been oppressed by us by quite some time. We've been killing you off. But now we're, I'm starting to see the error of our ways after everything. And I just want to, you know, bring it in. Come here. Come here, you beautiful, bold bastard, you. Yeah, you know, sometimes we say things, sometimes words hurt. That's all good. In the end of the day, it's about family. And what else could you actually ask for? Beautiful. With the Marcus trilogy done, I guess there's only the later Gears games and their super hard difficulties left to do. So if you want to see those, make sure to like this video and subscribe. I also do all these challenges live on Twitch, so be sure to check me out there too if you want to partake in roasting me whenever I do something dumb. With that, I'll see you all in the next one.